local facility offers a free place for the terminal ill to stay, and specifically, they want to help the homeless. It's called the Abby Hunt Bryce Home. So far, it has served more than 500 people, but you may not know it exists. News 8's Katie Wisely learned about the hidden gym and how it's impacting so many people. That's right. Good morning. Most of the, most of us question something when we hear it's free, but this is absolutely no cost to those residents at all. The home receives no government funding. One of the very few in the entire country that offers this service. It's run by Morning Light, a nonprofit organization that helps families with limited means who are in need of health, wellness, or end of life care. I like to have my coffee out here in the morning. After coffee, it's straight to the garden. The dirt is so nice here. Today's goal to plant this pansy. I love purple. And they all know that here, so I get a lot of purple plants. You can hear the birds chirp. It's peaceful for Dixie Hines. You feel like you're in your own little world. Who has throat cancer for the second time. And then it came back three and a half years ago. The doctor I went to then gave me six months. <laughs> I'm a survivor, I guess. There are only between 10 and 12 residents at the Abbey Hunt Bryce home. All are either referred from hospitals, hospice programs, shelters, or social service agencies. I can't explain it, but you're so comfortable and loved here. Hines took care of her husband until he passed from MS a few years ago. She says she went broke after spending all their money to make him comfortable. Her daughter set to take care of her, but was diagnosed with cancer and quickly passed. That put Hines in the Abby Hunt Bryce home after already on hospice care in Danville. I want to live what I had left. That's why she's here, able to make new friends and spend time in her garden. Like life, there is a natural ending, circle of life. You know, and you can see it in everything around you. Just like this flower, her walk of life continues. The home was built through private contributions, which means they really rely mm -hmm. on those donations. So they're asking anybody who wants to help donate if they can. Inevitably, there will be more need for something like this. Are there currently any spots available? There are no spots. They have a long wait list. Mm -hmm. So if you want, you can sign a family member up online. That's on our uh, website, wishtv.com. I imagine the wait list will get even longer. It exactly. looks like such a wonderful place for people. Yes. All right, Katie, thank you.